Well, good evening. We want to welcome you to In the Blender with Brandon and Madeline Hyman. Good evening. Hello, everyone. We're so excited to be with you guys on this evening. I tell you, we're just going to have an awesome time on tonight. We've been talking about uh, basically a series on storms. There's an awesome teaching that we received uh, this year, and we just it just was so impactful to us that we wanted to share with you guys. And there's a book that we've been coming from before the storm. This was written by a pastor, Apostle Michael A. Freeman. I tell you, if you don't have this in your library, I don't care if you are a blended family, if you are a traditional family, if you're contemplating on being a family, you need this in your library. Yes. You need this book. It's an awesome read. Before the storm, pre-storm strategies. Let me tell you guys something. All of us need strategies to navigate life. But especially mm -hmm. in the family, there are strategies that you're going to need that's going to take you from one place to the next. And if you don't have these strategies, I promise you, Life isn't going to be as sweet as it was intended on being. So we want to encourage you guys. You want to get this book. It's a part of a trilogy uh, before the storm, during the storm, and they just had the release on after the storm. And so you want these, you definitely want these three books in your arsenal that whenever you're facing life challenges, whenever you're facing things that can somehow overtake you or overcome, you want to be able to go pick up a piece of material that you can now look at and say, you know what? I need this I in my life. We got you, Sandra. We got you. And so you want to make sure that you have this. Um, again, we're just so excited to be with you guys. I'm telling you, we're going to share some information. I think this is part four. Three, I think. I, I'm, I'm not sure. I think it's part four. And so, listen, if you miss any of this, you want to go to In The Blender Facebook page. How else can they find these messages? Or either on our, our individual pages or YouTube. Exactly. So there's mediums that we have already set up. There's the YouTube In The Blender. There's the In The Blender Facebook page. And then there's our individual pages, which we save the videos as well. And so you can go to any one of those and you can view those episodes. I tell you, you want to get all this information that we've shared. We won't have time to go back over everything, but I'm telling you, it's just been some awesome information, some life-changing information. Hey, baby, how you doing, Najee? And so I'm you want to make saying. sure that you get this because I'm telling you, everybody faces storms. I don't care who you are. I don't care how great faith you think you have or you have. I don't care what you're doing in life. You're going to face some storms. There's going to be some things that you're going to encounter in this life, especially in the blended family dynamic. <laughs> there are going to be some things that you're going to encounter. There are going to be some things that you're going to face. Whether you like it or not, whether you want it or not, it's going to come. And so you're going to need some tools on how to handle it. You're going you're gonna to need to know how to handle it before it comes. You're going to need to know how to handle it during it. And you definitely going to need to know how to handle it afterwards. Because there, in those three dynamics, there are things that can devastate an individual. There are things before the storm. If you don't properly prepare before the storm, it can tear your family apart. Mm -hmm. If you're not properly prepared during the storm, there's some damage that could take place that could be irreparable. Hey, baby, we miss you too. And then if you don't prepare after, if you're not prepared for after the storm, you're not going to know how to move things because there's some things after the storm that won't stay in the same place, mm -hmm. that can't stay in the same place. And there are some things that need to stay in the same place, but you need to know the difference. And so, again, you're going to need these three books before the storm, during the storm and after the storm. Uh, great reads written by our pastor, Apostle Michael A. Freeman. And I tell you, we want to encourage you guys. 
But we're going to jump right into this week because for some reason we've been running out of time. <laughs> and so we say because of me, whatever. And so we want to just make sure that we can close this out. And so we're going to pick up from where we left off. Last week we talked about, hold on one second for me. And we were talking about the essentials needed before the storm. And we talked about preparing with prayer. We talked about declaring victory. We talked about developing the spirit of faith. Because mm -hmm. you're going to need faith in this. You're going to need faith in this dynamic. You're gonna need, when it comes to the blended family especially, you're going to need faith. Because the blended family isn't just people that have been divorced and remarried. The blended family are, because in these days and times, people have children before marriage. Mm -hmm. And so now you decide you want to get married, and now that becomes a blended family. Mm -hmm. Then you have people that have adopted. Now that's a blended family. There's so many dynamics that make hey, up Will. the blended family. Hey, Will, what's going on? And so we want to make sure that you guys understand it's just the blended family isn't just one set. Mm -hmm. There are many different uh, makeups of the blended family. But whatever that makeup is, you're going to need faith. Right. Because there's some things that you're going to encounter <laughs> that without faith, you're not going to make it. I'm talking about there's some things that we encounter had not we walked in faith, had not we walked by faith, we wouldn't have been able to overcome it. And so we want to encourage you guys, you're going to need to develop the spirit of faith. Then we talked about winning with the word. And that's what we're going to pick up. I think that's where we stopped off. Stop. Winning with the word. Man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Mm -hmm. And so because we were made in the image and likeness of God, you're going to live by every word that you speak. And so it's important to understand I have to watch what it is I say. I have to be careful of what it is I say. There are things that we laugh about. We hear people say, I can't stand you. You get on my last nerves. You make me sick. Well, guess what? Those very words are the things that you're encountering right now. <laughs> Those very words. You have to be careful. Especially when you say, I can't stand you and you make me sick, then guess what? Every time you see that person that you said, for better or for worse, for sickness and health, to death do us part, now you know what's happening? They making you sick. They making you ill. And the, the crazy thing about it is, some of you guys are having the physical attributes of the words you're speaking. You get on my last nerve. Now every time you're around your family, every time you're around your spouse, now you start getting headaches. You don't have headaches before they come home. <laughs> you don't have headaches before the kids get home from school. But now, because that's what you're saying all the time, that's what you're getting. And so you have to be careful to understand that we win with our words. You will win with the word if you have it stored inside you before the storm. Mm -hmm. See, there's some things that you got to store right now before that storm comes, that when that storm comes, you're not going to be saying crazy things. There's some things that, that we've encountered spiritually, mentally, emotionally, financially, that because we had the right words stored up in our hearts, we had the proper things stored up in our lives, when those things, when we encountered those things, we knew we couldn't speak. See, let me see, let me pause for a second. Too many people speak what they feel instead of what they believe. Yeah, or what they want. Or what they want. You speaking what you you speaking what you're seeing. Just because things aren't going quite the way you wanted to go, that's all. You, hey, chief, hey, what's chief. going on? That's all you speaking. It, it just don't look good. Well, guess what? It ain't gotta look good to be good. It don't gotta. It don't gotta look in your favor to be in your favor. It don't gotta look like it's gonna. You're gonna come out on top to come out on top. You gotta know you're coming out on top. Again, you guys know my journey 
over the last two years, I've lost 180 pounds. Well, guess what? When I first started this journey, it didn't look like I was going to look the way I'm looking right now. <laughs> and there were times while I was going through this process that I didn't see where I'm at right now. Even, even as, as, as short as a couple of months ago, I didn't see the results I'm seeing right now. But because I knew I was on the right path, even when I, I slipped in and had a donut or, or a piece of cake, well, I didn't have a donut, but when I had a piece of cake or I ate something that I wasn't supposed to be eating, that didn't, that didn't mean that I wasn't going to get the results that I desired. <clears throat> What did we do? She found them pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I had to throw them somewhere, Chief. I had to give them to somebody. I, I apologize, man. You was in the way when I was throwing them away, but somebody had to get them. But just because I didn't see those things or just because I had little hiccups didn't mean that I wasn't going to get the results I was going to get. And too many times, guys, because you're facing the storm, because you're facing something, you're only speaking what it is you're facing. There were things that we've encountered as a couple that in the natural, I couldn't stand her. I didn't want to be around her. But you know what? That's the time I made myself want to be around her even more. Even though she was like, get away from me. <laughs> Don't touch me. Leave me alone. The more she said that, the more I wanted to be around her. Why? Because I knew that if I would have fed into that, then I wouldn't have got what I wanted. And see, you got to understand this. It's not always about the both of you agreeing or all of you agreeing. If one of you can just see it, you can have it. If one of you can just believe it, you can have it. We're living in a, we're living a life right now that years ago we didn't see. Years ago, it, it just wasn't... It didn't seem possible, but because we believe beyond what we saw, now we're seeing the manifestation of what we believe. And so you got to make sure that you don't say anything contrary to what you're doing or what you want. Faith begins where the word of God begins. You will be able to release your faith with impact and with power when you know the word concerning your situation. You got to know the word concerning your situation. And you know what that word is? We win. Absolutely. That's the word. We win. I don't care what we're facing. We win. If it's financial, we win. If it's emotional, we win. If it's physical, we win. <laughs> what did Jay say? Next story should be about grandkids. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> No way, Najee. <laughs> yeah. But guess what? We win. And so I don't care what it looks like, we win. When it looked like we weren't going to make it, all we kept professing is we win. We the head and not the tail. We're above on and never beneath. Yeah. Even when the finances were low, we're the lenders and not the borrower. How you going to be a lender and you, and you need to borrow? <laughs> <laughs> See, people don't understand that. How are you going to be a lender when you need to borrow? You're going to be the lender because that's what you're decreeing. Mm -hmm. I remember I was watching, um, what's the movie uh, um, they did on, on Biggie Smalls? Like, anyway, there was, a, there was a scene in it when he was talking to Puffy in the hey, office. Kena. And Puffy said, listen, if you put me in a jungle, I'm going to come out with a chinchilla suit. You got to have that kind of mentality that I don't care what it looks like. <laughs> I'm going to come out looking good. I'm going to come out smelling like roses. I'm going to come out on top. Whatever bad situation you put me in, you better cool believe I'm coming out as if I, as if I designed that situation. And so the only way you're going to come out like that is if you start speaking that you're going to come out like that. Absolutely. That's the only way you're going to come out like that. Winning is not everything. It's the only thing. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, winning is not. What's it again? He said that's winning is not everything. It's the only thing. Now watch this. My brother said winning is not everything. It's the only thing. Now watch this. 
When it becomes the only thing, now is everything. <laughs> when winning becomes the only thing, now is everything. Because I'm consumed with winning. And that's what, that's what being prepared in a storm does. It makes you prepared to win. Regardless of what it looks like, I'm a win. There are some things that came up against our house that could have took the roof off our house. But because we knew we win, it didn't. We there were some episodes, guys, that I dealt with as a, as a blended dad, as a bonus dad, that was designed to destroy me. I told you guys, I, I had the rumble in the jungle. I had the, uh, the, the fireman's episode. <laughs> there were some episodes I had with my girls that was just like crazy. I mean, crazy. They were designed to kill me. They was designed to steal my testimony. They was designed to destroy this witness. And if I wouldn't have decreed what it was I really wanted out of this, it would have had this way. But because I was the listen, I faced some things that were designed to just take me out. But my wife can tell you, I even while we were going through it, I just kept saying, oh, we good. We on top. I don't care how I look. I don't care what they're saying. I don't care what it seems like. Uh, we win. Up. Yeah, yeah, oh, yes. yeah. <laughs> See, my, my, my daughter, the uh, firefighter, she got all these smiley crying faces up here because she the one that put all the lighter fluid on the on the food. So when I lit the match on the coals, so when I lit the match, <laughs> they almost set me on fire. But again, watch your words. She said my best man now. <laughs> exactly. You better believe it, baby. <laughs> readjust your thought life and that's where we're going right now readjust your thought life let me say that again readjust your thought life understand that we are tripart beings a spirit, soul, and body we tripart beings mm -hmm. the soul is the central processing unit of a man which determines whether that man will live or die Sink or swim, go up or go down. Let me let me read that again. The soul is the central processing unit of man, which determines whether that man will live or die, sink or swim, mm -hmm. go up or go down. So it's important, guys, to make sure that your thoughts are right. You know, you can think yourself sick. You can think yourself well. You could think yourself dying or you could think yourself healed. I re you guys heard me tell the story. When I was born, the doctor said I was crippled. My legs are, my, even now today, my legs are twisted. But you would never know if I didn't tell you that. But I always believe that I could do everything that everybody else did. My mother told me that. She said, I don't care what you think, you normal. And see, some, that's why you guys are watching us, because I don't care what you think, you normal. And what I mean by normal is, you supernatural. Because see, for us, normal isn't, isn't average. Normal is above average. For us, normal isn't the, 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 the quotas. The not, it's, not, it's not the medium. It's above that. And so you guys got to understand that I don't, you're watching us because you need to know that you're victorious. You need to know that you win in every area of your life. Mm -hmm. And so, but the only way you're going to understand that and really receive that is if you adjust your thoughts, which means sometimes you got to assess the people you're around. There are some people that I came up with that I can't hang around. Why? Because their thoughts aren't where I'm going. That's not saying I don't love them. That's not saying I don't care about them. That, my man Chief, we've been so close for years because we think alike. <laughs> we think alike. Now, there are guys that we grew up with. There are people that we knew growing up that we no longer hang with. That don't mean we don't love them. That don't mean we don't pray for them. That don't mean we don't care about them. But we know where we're going and what we want out of life is contrary to where they're going and what they want out of life. And you're only as successful 
is the five closest people around you. If you want to know where you're going, look at the life of the five closest people around you. That's going to be a clear indicator of where you're going to end up in life. It's going to be clear. If everybody around you broke, guess what? You're going to be broke. If everybody around you got a bad relationship, guess what? Nine times out of ten, your relationship is going to be bad. If everybody around you got children that's buck wild, then guess what? Nine times out of ten, your children are going to be buck wild. It's important to understand. That's why you got to regulate your thought life. That's why you got to be concerned about what you're thinking. Even programs you're watching. You can't watch uh, love and hip hop all the time. You can't watch that mess because guess what? It's mess. And it's tricking you into believing that you're going to have a normal life doing the foolishness that you're seeing. Because guess what? For, it's all it is is entertainment. Mm -hmm. They getting paid to act like a fool. You're not. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let me say it again. They're getting paid to be crazy. They're getting paid to have drama in their life. You're not getting paid to do that. And so while you're seeing their drama, guess what? They're still they're going to the bank. They're making deposits. But you, on the other hand, you're making withdrawals. You're making withdrawals to your destiny. You're making withdrawals to your future. You're making withdrawals to your now. And you're wondering why you can't accomplish what it is you want because you're not adjusting your thought life. So you have to readjust your thought life. That processing unit is also where he or she will make decisions to win or lose. There is an exchange of thoughts that man must go on to renew the spirit of his mind. And one of the scriptures that we use is Romans 12 and 2. Now watch this. Just like my driver's license. Now this, this I love this example right here. No, hold that up too much with the address on that. And I got my finger right there. <laughs> Just like my driver's license, okay? <laughs> She's like, you ain't coming over my house. <laughs> No, I just said no. <laughs> just, no, I just want to show my, I just want to show yeah, my face. Yeah. Just like my driver's license, right? Every so often, I have to renew that. Well, it's mandatory that I have to renew those driver's license. Just like my driver's license, it's mandatory that you renew your mind. It's mandatory that you go through a process of renewal. Because things don't stay the same. Now, I know I, I look like I look when I graduated high school. Don't hate. <laughs> I know I look like I did when I first turned an adult. I know I still look that young. You know, I just grew this because my wife, she like a little beer action. So I just grew that. But I, I know I still look like I'm 17. But the truth of the matter is, <laughs> I'm not 17. Facts. Facts of what part? <laughs> <laughs> what facts? <laughs> Thank you, baby. See, my baby know. They know. They know they got a young daddy. And so, but guess what? There's a renewal that has to take place. Oh, mate, that's the part she must be talking about, renewing that mind. No, that's not what she was talking yeah, about. She talking about the facts, how good I'm looking. No. <laughs> <laughs> Your mother is a hater. That's facts. <laughs> but just like the renewal See, of my life. She said renew your mind. <laughs> Look at that hater. Hate her. Why? Wow. But just like I had to renew my license, similarly, with your thought life, we have to exchange our thoughts or our old belief systems with the new belief system. Mm -hmm. You got to change some things, guys. You got to change the way you see things. I don't care how bad or how unfavorable things may look. You got to change the way you see it. You got to change the way you, one of the things that I struggled with in this process was seeing myself as this new man. Even now, 180 pounds later, I sometimes have to remind myself that I'm not that big dude. Sometimes when I stand in the mirror, to me, I still see him. But I know that that's because at that particular time, I have to go back over my thought life. Because I'm seeing something that isn't real. Mm -hmm. Let me say that. What you're seeing isn't real. You don't even realize how much changes have taken place 
But because you've seen that mess for so long, you don't even know the change is taking place. That's why you got to renew your mind. Every day I'm renewing my mind. My wife used to ask me, why did I spend so much time in the mirror? There you go. <laughs> I spent so much time in the mirror. Why? Because I needed to see the change. Some of you guys need to take time to examine yourself, to take a look at the change that's taking place and understand that there is a change. I don't care the mistakes you made in life. I don't care the shortcomings you had. You got to know that there is a change that have taken place regardless of how things look like. And that's why sometimes I just put on clothes. I'm in the house and I just put on clothes. Why? Because I need to see myself in this new outfit. What do you mean? I need to see myself in the newness. Because in my mind, it's trying to take me back to this old thought life, this old way of seeing things. And so the only way I can keep myself up to date, the only way I can keep myself seeing things as they've changed is, is by putting on the new garments. You're going to have to keep on putting on new thoughts. Mm -hmm. You prosperous. You healthy. You're smart. You're intelligent. You're wise. I don't care if you made bad decisions. I'm wise. My wife will tell you, as far as I'm concerned, I'm the smartest dude there is. Now, the, the, have there been decisions that I've made in life that have equated to that? No. Have there been choices that I've made that have said I'm the wisest dude I know? No. But I'm not going to down talk myself. I'm not going to minimize who God says I am and who I believe I am. Because who I believe I am doesn't is not dictated by what I've gone through. But the renewal of the mind helps me accomplish that. Oh my goodness, sweetheart. <laughs> That's why we almost done. You ain't gonna finish. And so there's a way that seems right to a man. I got two minutes. I'm going to wrap this up. There's a way that seems right to a man. There are thoughts that seem right to you, but the end of those thoughts are destruction. And this is where I'm closing, guys. There are thoughts. There's a way that seems right, but the end is destruction. A man's prosperity or demise in life will be determined by his soul. If your soul strays or if your soul, if your soul stays the same, it has not increased, then your life will never increase and you will always stay the same. You cannot go higher than your thoughts. Remember these two things on this point. Meditation is critical to establish your development and your attitude establishes your altitude. Meditation is essential. It's critical, guys. You got to sit down and meditate. And you're right, sweetheart. I'm not going to finish. <laughs> I don't know. But it's essential. I, I, we, it's just so much, guys, we want to share with you guys. Well, listen, I thank you for tuning in. We thank you for tuning in. Well, you said that one minute. I still Let's got, get ready. Yeah, and we want to make sure we end on time. But listen, guys, we thank well, you. Well, just for, give those two points. Okay. Then. So, remember these two things. Meditation is critical is the critical point of our development and your attitude establishes your altitude. Let me read that again. Meditation is the critical point of our development and your attitude establishes your altitude. If you want to go higher, if you want your family to go higher, if you want your blended dynamic to go higher, then you got to make sure that your attitude will establish that altitude. My attitude in this thing was I'm going to have the best family. Just at home. Yes, we are. Yes. I'm going to have the best. I'm going to have the best. I'm going to have the best relationship. There were times when I didn't have a great relationship with my daughters, but I would decree and declare my attitude was that I have the best relationship with my family. That's my baby girl. She keeps putting posts on and I'm getting a little emotional. But I had to establish my thought life. I had to establish my way of thinking. I had to change. I had to renew it. And when I begin to renew it, guys, I begin to see everything 
that God said I can have. Everything that I was believing for, everything that I was hoping for, everything that I was praying for, when I begin to renew my mind, when I begin to change my thought processes, I begin to see everything that I ever wanted out of this blended family dynamic. That's why we're here with you guys. I promise you, we've mastered this. <laughs> we, we, we've developed this. We're establishing this. And if you can follow these tools that we're sharing with you guys, if you can just listen to my heart, listen to my heart, listen to what I'm saying, you can have it. I don't care what it looks like. I was just talking with a brother and I got to close. How life has been so sweet because of principles that he's put in place to have the best life now. We love you guys. We thank you. How can they reach us, We are. Uh, you can email us at wearealblendedfamily at gmail.com and also um, our web page in theblenderministries.com. And also this week. What, Thursday night, yes. uh, 8 to 9 p.m. on WJMS Radio, every Thursday, 8 to 9. And that's live.365.com. We love you guys. We thank you so much for tuning in to In the Blender with Brandon Madeline Hyman. And until next week, bye-bye. Bye, guys.